Hello. Hello. Welcome along to another Lunchtime Live. I hope you've all had a good week. So today we are talking pyjamas. So I don't know if you saw my blog post this week. Um, well, actually it was a guest blog post and it was written by the lovely Vicky from Seems Like Vicky. So she wrote a review of the Carolyn pyjamas by Closet Core Patterns. Uh, and she shared a little high rise hack that she'd done for them. So it got me thinking when we were talking about doing the blog post, I thought, oh, actually, let's talk pajamas. And um, oh, Sewing Celeriac says, my favorite outfit. Yes, pajamas definitely for the win, especially, you know, over the last 18 months, we have all probably, I know I have, we've all been wearing pajamas a lot more. Um, so yes, nice comfy things. And um, why not have them beautifully handmade? So what I thought I'd do is share some pyjama patterns that we've got here and talk through some fabrics that would work nicely. Because I think um, pyjamas are a great uh, example of a pattern that beginners can make fairly easily. And you can also, if you're a more advanced sewer, you can add things like piping, you can add decorative touches that just kind of elevate them as well. So a nice kind of palette cleanser if you're, um, if you've been making like really complicated projects as well. So what I'm gonna do is share some of my favorite pajama patterns, um, show some samples that I've made and share some fabrics that I think would work really well. Um, before I start, I will share what I'm wearing. I'm wearing some ready to wear jeans um, because the weather really can't make up its mind. So I'm sort of out of summer mode now, uh, but I am wearing the um, Friday, Friday Pattern Company Sagebrush Top. So this is from one of our cotton lawns. Uh, we've got it in this sort of lilac-y mauve colour and then we've got it in a green as well. Um, sorry, just checking what it's called. It's called Catherine, Catherine um, with a K. And I've just got a little contrast ruffle there, the big poofy sleeves. You love it. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Uh, yeah, so nice, comfortable, easy to throw on top. And also, funnily enough, this fabric would work beautifully for pyjamas. So I will start because we've been talking about um, Vicky's blog post, which I will share after this again. I'll share so you can go and check it out and see what she did with them. Um, so she made the Closet Core Patterns Carolyn pyjamas. And she made this view with the longer, oh no, actually, so she, mi she mixed it up. She made the shorter sleeve top and the longer trousers um, without the piping. But I know she has made them with the piping before as well. Um, so it's a really classic, almost tailored pair of pyjamas, that really classic look to them. You've got the lovely notched collar and everything if you choose to do that. Now, personally, I don't like wearing a traditional pajama top like this I would always just wear a vest top oh thank you left hand made says I love your blouse thank you I love it too um yeah so I tend to just make the pajama bottoms which is what you'll see in the samples here um so I would you know wear a vest top and then those because I just get too hot right but you know you do have the option of that lovely loungewear set so what Vicky made hers from because they are the cat's pyjamas. She made hers from this beautiful Lady McElroy cotton lawn. So it's quite an abstract print from far away, but if I get closer, you can see it's got these beautiful cats on it. So perfect for pyjamas. And this really lovely soft navy blue background. So they are going to be, what I look for in a, fabric for pyjamas is something natural so natural fibers that mean you can stay cool at night you're not going to like get overly hot and um all sweaty with polyester really um so that would be a top tip for me so cotton lawn be lovely and soft against the skin um would hang nicely and yeah, would just feel really nice to sleep in and nice and luxurious. So the Lady McCarroy cotton lawns feel like 
really luxurious, almost like a little silky sheen on them. So I love these. We have a few other options as well in terms of colorway. So this is the rainbow clouds one and it's really lovely and bright, really fun for pajamas. And if you were gonna do a kind of vest top with these, you've got all these different colors to pull out. You've got red, orange, there'll be turquoise, yellow. So it's kind of, that would be brilliant to mix and match with things. So I would love that as pajamas. And this one came in this week and it is called Perla Bouquet. And it's this beautiful kind of retro 70s style print with these gorgeous colors. So peaches and greens and blues, really, really pretty. So this one's been quite popular in store this week. And then this was another new one that came in. So this is called dark shades and another lady mccarroy one and it just really reminds me of um that painting the scream it's all those sorts of colors and the swirls and everything i love it really unusual so you've got kind of bright pinks oranges blues so that would work beautifully And if, again, if you wanted something a bit more fun, you've got the Crowded Faces Cotton Lawn. This one's always a really popular design. So all these beautiful faces on it would work brilliantly for some fun pajamas. And I think that would work really nicely for men's pajamas as well. I think, you know, that could work um, and be a really fun. Oh, you can make matching ones. Yes, that would be good. Yes. Um, and then I also thought you could have some fun with this one. So this one's called Petting Zoo and this is one of our Pigeon Wishes fabrics. This is a dead stock and it's got all kinds of animals on it. But I love the stripes. I think that would look great for pajamas. So, oops. just to show a few pairs that I've made. So these were quite a recent one that I made. This is one of the Ruby Star fabrics. So these are Carolyn's. I made them without the piping this time around. Um, but they've got the lovely little pockets. These did have um, a little tie thing. Uh, just so I think that looks really nice. But uh, do you know what? I made these when we first had the kittens. And yeah, they just pulled the tie out and used it as a toy. So I haven't put that back in. But <laughs> yeah, they're very sweet. Um, so this is a Ruby Star fabric. Um, I think it's called Prickles. Yes, Prickles. We've still got a little bit left of this one. So these lovely little hedgehogs all over it. Then I've got, oops, hang these back up again properly. These were, oh, this was an old, um, I think it was an art gallery fabric uh, with these beautiful little cats. So I have my own cat's pajamas. And you can see here I did the option, so the shorts option with the piping. Um, oh, somebody said Ruby Star fabric would make amazing yoga pants. Oh, yes. So with this one, again, I've put the little tie through. I'm just trying to think whether... I don't think the actual pattern comes with an option to put the tie through it. I have a feeling that the waistband is cut slightly differently and I think when I make mine I change it so that the um, waistband is in two parts and you've got seams on the side yeah so that I can do a um, do buttonholes on the front and put a little uh, tie through just because I like that look uh, similar to how the Hudson pants are done. So Ruby Star fabric wise, we've got things like all the speckled ones would work really nicely. This one is the berry color. So uh, yeah, Vicky says, Carolyn pattern doesn't actually come with the ties. Yeah, the band is front to back. Yeah, so I always change it each time. So yeah, this is lovely. It's got these lovely sort of paint splatter effect on it. So we've got this in several different colorways. We've got a rust, a navy. Um, we've got pink, bright pink, 
um, whitey cream with a pink splatter and a lovely sort of milkshakey pink colour as well. Um, but you can also make them in brushed cotton. So I've got this pair that I made quite a while ago. And again, you can see I put the little, a little tie there and I did this one with a contrast uh, green piping as well. So these are my kind of Christmas pajamas. So a warmer pair for when it's winter, I definitely wouldn't wear them in this weather. Uh, but yeah, the lovely kind of brushed flannel. So we don't have this one in stock at the moment, but we do have a similar one if you wanted to get started on uh, wintery pyjamas. So um, last year when we had these in, we were getting lots of people making um, like matching sets for the family, which was really sweet. But yeah, they're nice and soft and say so the kind of flannel effect will keep you warm in the winter. Right, other patterns. So we also have the Nina Lee Piccadillies. So these ones have this beautiful little pocket detail on the bottom here. They come in like a sort of cropped length and then a short length and the longer top and the short sleeve top. And the detailing on them is really beautiful. So again, elastic waist, the little ties, that beautiful collar. I think that collar would be really easy to put in as well. I haven't actually made these ones myself, but I think I am gonna give them a go because they are very, very pretty. And I've loved every Nina Lee pattern that I've made so far. So that's definitely a good one to consider. Um, I think they would look nice in a beautiful rayon. So I've picked out some nice rayons here. This lovely drapey leopard print. This is called the Suzanne Beige Rayon. So a nice subtle leopard print. It's so soft. So I must say, all of my favourite ready-to-wear pyjamas have always been rayon because they're lovely and smooth to wear, lovely and cool to wear just feel really nice against the skin so I would tend to go for that option um, if that's the sort of thing you are after we have this lovely art gallery fabrics rayon as well this is called waltz moonlit rayon so pretty like for a really lovely pretty summery pair I think the uh, Nina Lee Piccadilly's would look lovely in that and you could even like pick out the pink or the white for little details on the pockets and that sort of thing. A uh, bit more out there is the, um, this is our green leopard print rayon. So that would be a gorgeous pair. I would love some in that. Leopard print and rayon very luxe. Yes, definitely. Definitely. You could even make a little matching robe as well for the summertime. And we also thought this one would be nice. This is our Bethany rayon. Really beautiful colours in this one. I love the kind of smoky grey and then that lovely sort of peachy pink blossom on it. So yes, would love some in those too. So another option pattern wise so are you going to get any more of the pink blue leopard print rayon i'm afraid we can't i have tried um but it's out of print now so i'm very sorry uh yeah we had as much as we could in and that's all gone but i have requested that they uh reprint it but we shall see i don't think it's going to happen uh but yeah so the other option this is a really good um tilly in the buttons beginner pattern so this is the jamie pajamas with lovely megan on the front hi megan so you've got the option of the longer ones or the short ones and they come with, so it's an elastic waist they are easy to make i think there is an option of the little tie front on them and yeah again you can make them in cottons rayons anything like that <laughs> oh dear this is sob nothing haunts us like the fabrics we didn't buy yeah definitely um so 
yeah, these are a really nice, simple option. They don't have pockets in them. You could add little side seam pockets fairly easily. Uh, but yeah, these are a really good beginner option. So I would say, so when people come in asking for, you know, brand new beginner patterns, what should they use? I always suggest something like this in a cotton lawn because they're going to have a good experience sewing it and wearing it as well. Um, so I do, do have a little sample of that one. So I made these as shorts. And as I was saying before, you know, you can kind of pimp them up a little bit if you want to. So I've added just a little pink tie to them and this cute little bit of trim around the bottoms um, just to make them look cute. So um, I wear these kinds of things all summer long. I can't, can't be wearing long pajamas in the summer. But yes, again, that's just a cotton lawn. So the other option though, if you are into jersey pajamas is the Hudson pants. So while these are more of a sweatshirt pattern for daytime, you can make them as pajama trousers. Personally, I wouldn't wear a close leg, you know, a close legged pajama to bed. That would oh that would drive me mad, but some people love that. Just not me. <laughs> But I have actually, I've made the little short, I've made them into shorts. Um, we have some little mint green with um, paw prints all over it, fabric. So I made some little shorts of these, which were cute. Um, but yeah, you, you can make them rather than in sweatshirting. If you make them in like a cotton um, jersey, they work absolutely fine for that. So that is another good option. And I was thinking you could make them from something like this. This is our... Um, interstellar cotton jersey i made a t-shirt out of this it is so soft it's ridiculous and um yeah that would be perfect for, for um pajama trousers and you could just make a little um jersey t-shirt to go with it or a vest something like the agnes top would work well and um, we also have this glorious prim elastic so it's like boxer short elastic so it matches really nicely with the fabric um, so I've actually made my other half a pair of boxes with these um, and yeah it looks really good together so you could just actually make quite a simple pair with that as the waistband elastic on show. Um, does anyone have any questions regarding pyjamas or um, fabrics that would be good for pyjamas? Let me know. Let's see if there's anything. Ah, oh, so sweet Jane says I've never wanted to make pyjamas so badly before. Well yes they're a great thing um just made a tank with the interstellar fabric to wear at home and out yeah, it's great isn't it it's so soft i really really love it and we've got a sort of purpley lightning one as well from the same range oh, but i can highly recommend this one um yes so anyway i will start wrapping up i think um don't forget we have oh my goodness we only have two saturdays here left on north street which if i think about it is a bit ridiculous but yes yeah, so we've got this saturday we'll be here 10 to 2 30 and next saturday again 10 to 2 30 and obviously all throughout next week as well um but yes i think um we are going to start having things that we're going to be giving away and there's going to be things discounted um what is the name of your shirt fabric so it's called Catherine k-a-t-h-r-y-n Catherine cotton lawn and um, yeah so we they'll start to be kind of discounts and things next week where um but that will be in store only just to clarify um because we don't want to create too much work for ourselves before we move uh, but yes yeah, so definitely pop along and see us next week um yeah but, but as i said there may be some things that we're giving away um we've got lots of patterns um like that came through with sewing magazines and things like that we've got lots of vintage patterns that we don't really want to take to the new space so there'll be things like that um that you're going to want to come and see um, and just come and say goodbye to the old space. We had our last um, sewing club in this space last night, which was lovely. Um, Vicky brought along some bubbles, so we cracked them open. And uh, yeah, it was really nice. And um, we're going to have a break for sewing club um, 
this next week and the week after and then we are back to it on the 15th of July in the new space and um, uh, oh, so Emma says thank you off to make PJs you should, should have lovely new pajamas to wear wear for bed tonight um but yeah we are going to be um sorry bear with me two seconds <laughs> no it's fine somebody can't read the sign we're all good we're all good um yeah so um our open date is going to be on the 10th of july so that will be the saturday um where we'll be showing you all our new space um i'm just figuring out the booking system at the moment. So bear with me, I'm hoping by tomorrow I should have something ready so people can book and come and see us because I just want to spread people out throughout the day. I don't want everybody coming all at once. Just want to kind of try and make it as safe as we can while we're still under some form of lockdown rules. Anyway, I will leave you to it. Have a lovely rest of your Friday and I will speak to you soon. Take care, bye-bye.